Thank you very much. I'm Brian Zeger, Artistic Director of Juilliard Vocal Arts, and I'm so delighted to welcome you all here. I'm delighted to welcome both the people who are here at Paul Hall and Juilliard, and people who are watching the live stream of this masterclass all over the world. This is a real milestone for us at Juilliard because we have never live streamed a masterclass before, and I can't think of a more exciting one than the one we're about to hear today. So welcome to all of you, wherever you are, here or, here or elsewhere. Um, it's very hard to know where to start when you want to introduce Joyce DiDonato because she is such an extraordinarily versatile singer. She is brilliant in opera, a superb recitalist, wonderful in orchestral repertoire, and she is really truly one of the most thrilling singing actresses before the, before the um, public today. And it's also very fitting that she be with us here at Juilliard because all of the skills she brings to her work a gorgeous voice, extraordinary musicality, tremendous attention to language, and uh, the, the acting ability that is equal to anyone on any stage. These are things we all strive for at Juilliard, and I'm sure that she will touch on them all in the course of the class. Um, I, how many of you here have, were lucky enough to hear her Maria Stuarda in the last weeks? Qu oh, quite a few. So you know this was one of the, the most thrilling impersonations that's ever been on the Met stage. It was really, truly amazing, and I can't help but quoting the New York Times review of Anthony Tomasini, Miss Di Donato is simply magnificent, singing with plush richness and aching beauty. At a few moments from the collective sounds of the subdued chorus and orchestra, a pianissimo high note, almost inaudible, emerged from Miss Di Donato's voice, slowly blooming in sound and throbbing richness. I left the house not just moved and renewed and ready to celebrate the arrival of a new year. So we celebrate the arrival of Joyce Di Donato. Mr. Owens, will you be joining us today? Is there anything you'd like to work on? I'm not good enough. Eric Owens is down here. What, now you're making me nervous. Yeah. Right, guys. So we've got most of our students here, yeah? yeah. Students, any further back? Ra could you raise your hand if you're a student at Juilliard School? There we go, now I see it. Great, awesome. Oh, that's right, you are a student. I love it. Um, no comments from the, the peanut gallery. Um, I'm so happy to be here today, and a big shout out to the staff of Juilliard that I sort of sent out this crazy thing. It's like, oh, we should stream this. Of course, I have no idea what goes into that, and the, I'm sure they were like, do what? I was like, oh yeah, you can make that happen, and sure enough, they have, because they're brilliant. So I have a feeling that there's people watching literally across the globe right now. Hey, hey, internet people. Um, but that's so cool, because what I love about this is that music is absolutely this universal connecting tissue in humanity. And I find it more and more and more and more. And what's fun about this is we're not going to be dealing with finished product today. We're going to be dealing with process. And there is no finished product without process. And I think sometimes the process is a bit of a mystery. Or we're so intent on getting to that finished product that we skip process. Process is everything. It's your key. It's your it's your, um, it's your go-to lifeline when you're dying on the stage <laughs> and you think, oh my Lord, is this note never going to end? Process gets you there. Gets you, uh, without question, it's the work that gets you there. Um, I was having this conversation with a friend of mine recently about t talent is fabulous. And if you're gifted with talent, more power to you. And that will get you a little far. Work is really what brings you the rest of the 90% and more. And the work never stops. That's the exciting, frustrating, exciting, frustrating part is that the work never, ever ends. So um, I just have a couple things to point out about sort of how I tend to run a master class. Um, I will immediately say that the word master makes me really nervous. Um, I think there's very few masters in this world of music because I think the greatest artists are the best students. Um, and I, I consider myself a student as well. I may join you that seat free, Eric. <laughs> um, I, I consider myself a student more than anything, actually. And that's why um, the excitement is still here and the discovery process is still so much a part of the joy of what I do. 
Um, but I want this to be a discovery process and not a performance for any of us that are up here. So I need your help with that in that you guys create a safe environment where our singers can take risk. I want this to be more of a playground than a stage. And some of the process we may, I have no idea what we're gonna hear yet, but maybe some of the process will be experimental. So I'm not so interested today in final product. I'm interested in, again, process. And what if we try this and now go back and where did that take you? That to me is part of the interesting journey. So you may hear crazy stuff up here. You may not. I don't know. But again, just keep reminding yourself this may not be finished product stuff. Um, the other thing I would really, really, I promise you, love to have, please don't be shy, I'd love to have questions as we're going so that this is an interactive process as we go. So, I mean, don't, you know, and don't, you know, don't bomb us with questions, but if something really isn't making sense or whatever, you know, I'll ask questions after each singer a little bit, but if something is really making you stick for the students, you know, I'm here for you guys as well, okay? Make sense? Yes. Oh, thank you, I love it.